Hmm? Hi, I'm Rose Angela Blackwell. Can I help you? Perhaps. Could I ask you a few questions? Oh, this is about Joanne, isn't it? You know her? Well, I am the RA for this floor. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't know everybody. The campus police found her around 5 a.m. this morning. Can you tell me about her? Hmm. Well, all right. But could you leave my name out of it? Uh, if you don't want to name her, why would you talk about her? That shouldn't be a problem. Good. Joanne's parents have already asked the dean to fire me. I don't need anyone else knowing who I am. What do you want to know? Joanne's parents have asked the dean to fire you? What? Why would you do? Could you tell me about Joanne again? Well, as I said, I didn't know her socially, but she seemed nice enough. Nobody ever complained about her. She always had friends around her. She never had any trouble, as far as I know. Her suicide came as a total surprise. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Can you tell me anything about Joanne? She jumped off the roof. She died instantly. It was in the middle of the night. There was, there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. Right. She was probably pushed. Would you have a picture of Joanne? A picture? No. Why would I? Just asking. So how did you get to be an RA of this floor? What do you mean? Well, it's a girl's floor and you, well... Aren't? Yes. Well, it's like this. Someone at the registrar thought Adrian was a girl's name. So here I am. None of the girls have complained? Not yet. They seem to prefer it. This sort of thing happens quite frequently. You'd be surprised. What, are you secretly a stripper? What's going on here? Why would they not complain? Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. What? The sign reads Sarah. The sign said. The sign reads. The sign said. Yeah. Oh, nice. Hi, I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Am I supposed to know you? No, I'm with the Village Eye. The Village what? The Village Eye, the newspaper. I've never heard of it. Oh yeah, well I never heard of you neither, so there. It doesn't matter. Well what do you want then? I'd like to talk to you about your roommate, if that's alright. Jesus Christ. I'm busy with midterms. I told the campus police everything. Do you have to bother me? Look, so she killed herself. Big whoop. Why is that my problem? You don't care that she died? So you and Joanne weren't close. Brilliant deduction, Sherlock. Can you go away? It must have been hard, living with someone you don't like. What? You're psychoanalyzing me now? What the hell do you know about it? You're really starting to piss me off. Will you please calm down? Calm down? Who the hell do you think you are? Uh, be honest? Who, who do I think I am? I am Rosangela Blackwell. <laughs> I just want to know a little bit about Joanne. Fine. You want to know about Joanne? She's dead. She couldn't take the pressure, so she jumped off the roof. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Nope. Same old Joanne. Studied at her desk all day and slept all night, as usual. Quiet as a little mouse. Um. Slept all night, excuse Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. Do you have any thoughts on why Joanne would kill herself? Nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack it. Couldn't hack what? What could possibly drive someone to kill themselves? Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. You're already giving me a lot of information. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? <laughs> Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Are you a lesbian? Do you have a girlfriend yet? Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. 
like I pay attention. So Joanne was a good student. Yeah, sure, whatever. Hmm. Hmm. All right, bye. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure, whatever. Combining clues. By now, Rosa has a number of clues in her notebook. She can combine clues together and attempt to find a connection between them. To combine notes, left click on one clue, then left click on the second. Which means we have to click on everything. Alright, so it's suicide and sleep all night. If I were planning to kill myself, would I sleep soundly at night? I don't know if I could. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Studied all day. Lives in a dorm room. Mayo lives in a. due to a technicality. Hmm. Do I keep asking? There's nobody home. There's nobody. There's no. Alright, well, at least that limits the uh, number of options. There's no But yeah, like like if she slept all night, why would she kill herself? I don't see what one has to do with the other. Maybe there's a connection. Uh According to Kelly, Joanne didn't have any trouble sleeping. All I know about Joanne is that she was an NYU student who killed herself. Joanne seemed to be a hard-working student. Maybe the pressure got to her. I don't see what one has... That makes no... Kelly told me that Joanne slept soundly all night. Yeah. Kelly told me that Joanne studied all day. Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yes. Yeah. Is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? What can you tell me about Joanne's roommate? Kelly? Have you met her? Yes. Quite a sight, huh? But don't judge her by that. She's the sharpest kid you'll ever meet. She gets straight A's on everything. Really? Yep, she's pre-med. Okay. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. She... how would she know she sleeps all night then? Liars! Was Joanne a good student? I don't think she had any problems, but of course, the pressure can get to anybody. Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Okay. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Wait a minute. Something isn't right. If Kelly's been spending her night somewhere else, how can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Hmm. I think Kelly was lying to me. Liars. Um... All right, well, we're gonna talk to her. Yeah? Liars. Your RA told me that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yeah, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Did you lie to me? I didn't lie. I just... Oh, screw it. You wanna talk? Fine. What do you wanna know? Oh, serious? Now you're gonna talk to me? So what was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. She was studying political science, which is kinda cool, I guess. But she was so vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but not much there. Just a typical college kid. Acted just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? 
Um, no. Although, the last few weeks she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I'd been sleeping at my boyfriend's place. So you weren't here when she... Killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? So you're not a lesbian. That's disappointing. I could really use a photo of Joanne, if you have one. Hmm. Alright, just a sec. This was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. <laughs> she likes the girl on the left. Thanks. <laughs> she just gives it to us. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it, keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Alright. Alright, so we're done here. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Ah, uh, da 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 Joanne's photograph. Joanne. Look how white they all are. According to Kelly, this girl on the left is Joanne. I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. I don't want to ruin the picture. <laughs> I don't want to ruin the picture. Oh, okay, well, don't touch it then. Alright, let's go back to Adrian and ask about the other girls. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? The photos? The photos? Can you tell me anything else about Kelly? I don't feel it's my place to say anything else. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Can you tell me anything about Joanne? She jumped off the roof. She died instantly. It was in the middle of the night. There was... there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. So, is that... is that it? Are we done? I can't tell... <sighs> okay, I guess we're done. This is getting worse. At least I have enough for the story now. I better get home. I wish they put that animation on before this. Alright, Rose's apartment. This is getting bad. Maybe we should see the doctor and start getting sedated. Ooh, Joanne's ghost is going to haunt you. Oh my god. This really hurts. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long. Right. Computer, right. Yo, do something and do research. Do research? Joanne. No, I can't find any information about Joanne. Joanne's suicide? No mention of Joanne's suicide yet. If it just happened this morning, I doubt that anyone would have published it yet. Nope, no information about Adrian. No, no information about Kelly. Not even like a Facebook page? Do some <sighs> writing? I am just feeling so uninspired today. Maybe tomorrow I'll fill up to it. But today, it's just not happening. Write an emo poem about your headache. Pain. Pain and darkness. Sadness. Alone. Pain. That's my poem. Right. No more interruptions. Done. Articles oh. finished, picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. That was fast. Oh snap! Spooky no. sounds. What's Spooky sounds. What is happening? It's gone. The pain. It's gone. That was strange. It was like... Like... 
Glowing photographs is what it's like. What is that? You're going insane. The photo. Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but... Oh, snap. It's Joey. No, no, no. I did not just see that. I am not going crazy. No, it's just the stress, that's all. Auntie's death, work, life. I just need a rest, that's all. Oh snap, spookiness. It's in your bedroom. It's outside the window. It's in your bedroom again. I <laughs> smacks her in the face. <laughs> Hello, bright eyes. <laughs> Joey just smacked her in the face. <laughs> Why do they always do that? Because you punched her in the face, dude. Seriously. <laughs> so, Griff. Long time no see. How's tricks? Right, thought as much. Blackwell dames. Always sleeping. You're always sleeping, and I'm always watching. Dude, that's gross. Yep, that's me. The eternal chump. Mmm. It's about time. Hey, nap time Nelly. Wake up. Piss off. What? Ahem. <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. Go away. I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No. You don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No. I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, you shut up. You're gonna listen. No, you shut you're up. You're gonna listen good. No, you shut up. I've been up. watching you all day, sweetheart. No, gr you gross. know who I am. Gross. No. Yes. Gross. Uh, I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Oh, yeah, being now on. say my name. No. Damn you, you know my name. Now say it. Piss you're... off. Yes. You're Joey? No, don't do what he says. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I... No. Don't worry. I won't bite. I don't Couldn't care. even if I wanted to. Hi there. Um... This is so inappropriate. This is so... So inappropriate. Uh... Accepting a confrontation, huh? Who are you, and what the hell do you want with me? Huh. You don't waste any time. You're a Blackwell, all right. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone. And I'm the Family Spirit Guide. What? Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. I'm passed down from one generation to the next, like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. And then they all really liked metal. Where did you come from? That's a long, long story, dollface. And we've got more important things to do. No, we don't. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me, why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. It took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah. You felt sick to your stomach. I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? Where did it start? Ah, uh, da, 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 da NYU, no. Bellevue Hospital, no. The Shine Washington Square Park. You mean the dog run? Yeah. That's where we've got to go. What, right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. 
If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. Uh, why? Fine, we'll do it in the morning. No can do. We gotta go now. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? Was that because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid, not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what did. But do you really want to sit around here and find out? That is, uh, no. Nope. I can't believe this is happening. Believe it. Maybe I am going crazy. Maybe I'd prefer going crazy. Sorry, sugar, you're totally sane. Deal with it. Fine. Let's go. That's the spirit. No, I want to look at that other stuff first. After you.